So let's parse a question here. This is a pretty simple question. I hope most of you out there are going to say, yes, I know how to do this. That's not the point of this question. I'm glad you can do this. If you're finding you're still not sure at the end how you would actually solve the problem, and we're not going to solve it, then maybe go back and work on a bit of review just to pick up your chemist toolbox again. That would be unit zero for the open educational course that this video is a part of, but I'm sure there are other excellent reviews for concepts in things like concentration, moles, and molar masses. So, parsing question. A sick child has a dangerous temperature of 40.00 degrees Celsius. What is the child's temperature in Kelvin? Again, pretty simple question. We probably know how to do it, but let's break the question down. So what I have in the bottom of the slide is the same question color-coded a little bit. You'll notice that I've got the first whole sentence in kind of just red text. This is called the preamble. This is really an introduction. That preamble might have some data in it, which I've kind of highlighted in that dark blue as well. Really, the preamble is setting it up. I'm saying, why are we talking about this? I'm trying to give you a reason to care, or to relate, or to connect to your own experience of the world. So you're going to find a lot of chemistry problems. We're going to do it about everyday situations, for the most part. So we have a sick child here. They have a dangerous temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. Oh no, numbers, numbers, numbers. What am I going to do with this number? Well, I could do this, I could do that, I could do the other thing. Who cares? There's no rush here. Forget the numbers. This was the preamble. There's no question mark at the end of it, so there's certainly no question here. So this is the secondary part for now. Let's figure out the question itself. The second half, what is the child's temperature in Kelvin? Well, there's that question word, what, I've highlighted in yellow. Right after it is the actual answer we're being asked to provide. Is the child's temperature in Kelvin? And then, in Kelvin, well, wait a second. That's some sort of condition. I want the answer in a certain format. That might be part of the actual question itself as well. So let's kind of summarize this. There's going to be a preamble. There's going to be a lot of data in there. But you know what? Let's not worry too much about it just yet. Let's skim over it until we've actually understood the question. Then we can come back to it. And once we know what we're actually being asked, we can hopefully better understand how that preamble fits in, in terms of providing context and data. So you find that question word. There it is, what? Excellent. So everything hinges on you being correctly understanding what you're being asked. So of course, finding that question word is key. Right after it is the child's temperature. That's the answer you're being asked to provide. And it's usually right after, again, that question word. There's that condition. This is going to indicate you may need to consider conversion factors. If there's conditions obviously involving units, conversion are probably going to be part of the problem. And that means relying on possibly one of the other chemist toolbox equations again, molarity, molar masses, densities, things like that. So let's break that question back down again, but into a more general way. A sick child has a dangerous temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. What is the child's temperature in Kelvin? No. We have temperature data that's been given to us in Celsius, and we've been asked to get that temperature in Kelvin. I'm not mentioning any of the numbers. I've just come up with two sentences to say really what this question is in a general way. Well, that's good for me because that's going to help me build a plan, a plan to solve this question. 